Yo, this is your boy, Neil Aubrey Taylor, a.k.a. 80 Man Taylor, back with another live Facebook video. Just went to the laundromat, picked up my laundry back in the house, chilling. I see a whole bunch of posts on my Facebook, the Instagram, that got to do with this Jada Smith and Will Smith situation, right? And I felt disturbed in my spirit. But I allow the spirit to reveal to me greater mysteries of what is going on. See, everybody's distracted by Will Smith and Jada Pickett situation. I see all the memes. I see all the funny shit. Everybody's talking about she's for the streets. Then you got some people talking about entangle and all this crazy shit. But here's the real entanglement. Y'all are entangled in their love affair where you should be entangled in your own affairs. Let me say that one more time. If all you people watching this video right now is entangled in Jada Pickett Smith and Will Smith's situation, y'all caught up in the gossip, you're being distracted by the enemy. And the reason why I say you're being distracted by the enemy, because we have so many things that's going on right now. We got COVID-19 still in the background. We got these niggas that's planning vaccines for you niggas. You got... Um, NASA going out into outer space they talk about a whole bunch of comets are coming towards the planet and they're trying to create all these different satellites you got 5G you just had the protest not too long ago so you had people riding in the streets you had curfew now you're off of curfew it's summertime it's hot so you're just outside just losing your minds and I don't understand it because you're home and you're bored but you're entangled in all of these cobwebs and you're not entangled in the Lord you need to be focused in God on God in times like this so when you hear celebrity gossip because these celebrities are bored themselves they gotta be at home you know they're not being relevant people are trying to come up with albums you understand people are trying to do power moves so they're gonna make themselves be victims because if you think about August Austin whatever his, this guy name is it's the singer or rapper whatever that was in this love triangle with Will Smith and Jada Pickett right if he was the side dude right and everybody could agree with me on this one or disagree is your choice if you a side dude and you know you're dealing with somebody who's already married that is already a red flag. You understand? You know how these people get down in Hollywood. You know that these motherfuckers have some crazy orgies and all of that. So what you seeing on the surface on that red pill, um, that red table talk or whatever you call that. Because I'm not really into all that. Right? Whatever you seeing in the media pertaining to this situation, it's just surface level. You're not in Jada's life. You're not in Will's life to know what's really happening behind the scenes. You, you guys and ladies can only speculate. Right? Regardless of this kid being in his emotions, which I find effeminate. Because honestly, if you know that you decide, dude, shut your damn mouth. Play your own position. Or just stay out of the kitchen. Don't deal with that. Obviously, she's going to still mess with her husband. They mess around. That's what they do. You just got caught up in it. And you being a feminine male, you got in your feelings. You know, you'll live and you'll learn. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Um, everybody's caught up in this. And, and everybody's showing their true colors because everybody's opinion about it is revealing how they really feel about this type of interactions. How they feel about relationships in general. I've seen a lot of women put up a uh, post, you know, niggas be cheating on women all the time. But if you have one entanglement, you know, these niggas be looking like Will Smith. And they have the meme with this nigga's face all distorted and shit, right? Taking Disney's movies like Aladdin, because you remember he played Aladdin. They took memes like that. See, the world is cold. So the topic of this video is having tough skin in these end times because as the world becomes more dark and cold and God is separating his Ruha from the people, 
Ruha, when he's coming back for his church, he said, I'm coming back for church without spot or wrinkle, right? So when this rapture happens, that's when God's grace is over. I'm going to be real with y'all. Y'all church folks know what I'm talking about. Y'all go to church. Y'all now not going to church. You see, I'm going to give you something to think about. You can say you go to church. You can say you Christian. But your actions and your fruits show otherwise. I'm not saying I'm perfect because I'm far from that. But when you walk with God, you are persecuted for just walking with God. And the reason why I call this, this video having tough skin and end times is because those who truly walk with God, those who truly are baptized by the Holy Spirit, right? You're going to be persecuted because you're of a different nature than the world. You see, look at how the world treats its own. One minute they love you. The next minute they are making memes and funny posts about your situation that you're in. You can never please the world. And that's something that you all who are watching this video should comprehend and take notes of. This is why God says be separate and set apart. And I noticed on my fasting, because I'm taking a break from sex. Like I said, I'm not perfect. So I don't come in here condemning nobody. Because I know I'm a whoremonger ass nigga. But you see, Most High spoke to my heart. Told me to let go of the world. Spoke to me and told me you have to change your ways if you want to be a disciple of mine. I know what you want. I know what your desires are. But I'm asking you to put that to the side because we have more important things at hand. Because what's going to happen in the next few months from now, what's going to happen maybe a year from now, it's going to be so catastrophic. Not even these situations that you're watching, all these celebrity gossip is going to hold your mind. See, all of this is distractions. Y'all are just making fun of these people's relationships, which I have no concern about. Because you are bored and you don't want to deal with the reality that the world is ending right in front of you. I'm just being honest with you. The world is ending right in front of you guys. And all you could be is distracted is what celebrities is getting divorced. What celebrities is sleeping with who. And all of that is irrelevant because your life. It's on the line. See, when the Most High comes back, it's going to be so swift and subtle, you ain't going to know what hits you. See, when God is trying to prepare his elect, he's coming to you in visions. See, God is trying to prepare his elect. He's coming to you through prophets and prophetess. God is trying to speak to you through whatever means he can speak to you. But you're so hardened of heart and you're so caught up in the world. You're not listening to the sound of that trumpet. Sometimes people take it literal as the sound of the trumpet. Which you can because the Bible should be taken literally. But there's also a little sound of a trumpet in your ear. It's called your intuition. It's called your intuition for a reason because it guides you. It tells you where to go and what to do and what not to do. But since you want to have your own way, you want to have your cake and eat it too. God said you can't eat at the table of the Lord and then eat at the table of devils. So you got to make up your mind. See, this ain't about church. So I'm speaking to you church folks as well. You call yourself Christians. Some of you guys call yourself Hebrew Israelites. Some of you guys call yourself conscious. Y'all religious folks. This doesn't apply to this church. It applies to all you folks. Y'all go by titles, but y'all don't go by the y'all don't go by the word. You don't go by what you say out your mouth. Your fruits show otherwise. Or oh, I'm a Christian, but you don't live it. See, I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna speak that real shit because listen, I was walking with God. I have a personal relationship with God, but God got to a point where He said, "Listen, man, if you're gonna walk with me, you have to let go of everything." Yeah, I know you like sleeping around, but you gotta give that up. 
Yeah, God is going to make you do that. So if you're saying you're rolling with God, but you ain't giving up the vices of the flesh, you ain't giving up the pleasures of this world, then you're not fit to enter into the kingdom. Because God knows it hurt my soul to let my friends with benefits go. God knows it hurt my soul to throw out everything that he didn't want me to have. And I got on my knees and I prayed to God. I said, thank you, Father. Even though my flesh don't want to give it up, I had to give it up. Even though I know in my soul I crave to be between some thighs. He said, no, my grace is sufficient. Walk with me and I'm going to show you what I can do for you. And I believe because God got me this house. I didn't have no credit. Four years ago, when I moved from my parents' house and I started living on my own, I had no credit. I didn't know how I was going to do it on my own because I always was dependent on my parents. I always saw, yeah, my pops and moms took care of this house that I was living in before. I was always like, damn, how did they pay the bills? How did they pay the mortgage? Because the little bills that you had was probably your phone bill. Probably the little bills that you had was, yo, buying some clothes. That's it. But you see, when you live on your own, you got to do it on your own. You got to find that inner strength. And the Lord is your strength. So this is what it means to build tough skin in end times. See, you can't, you can't fake. You can't fake energy. You can't fake who you are. A lot of you guys and ladies are walking through life faking who you are. Y'all laughing at Jada and Will Smith lifestyle. But a lot of you guys wish to live their lifestyle. Even if it's promiscuous and fucked up. Now I'm not judging them because I'm promiscuous myself. Feel what I'm saying? But y'all sit there and laugh at Jada and, and, and Will Smith's situation. When a lot of you guys live in that same situation too. Y'all hypocrites. Y'all laughing at this dude because he emotional. But most of you dudes are emotional when it comes to your women too. You will fuck, you fuck all these different chicks, but then when a woman does it back to you, you can't handle it. You be about what, what about love? You be in your feelings like a bitch. Just keeping it real. So the dudes who are talking about the alpha, laughing at that dude. If Jada gave you some pussy, you probably be just like that nigga too. See. Don't underestimate human nature. Don't underestimate who you really are on the inside. That's why God said, clean out the inside of your cup. For the inside of your cups is dead man bones. What does that mean? It means that your inner man is full of hypocrisy. Your inner man is full of the world. When you walk in with God, he's going to expose you. He's going to expose what's on that inside. He's going to put it out on the outside. That's the persecution. That's the walk. I used to I used to be just like y'all, making fun of niggas and talking about niggas in a negative way to try to make yourself look like you better than other people. But that ain't tough. That's pussy. That ain't tough. That's whack. Cause I'm gonna keep it real with you. Real niggas can face their problems. By dealing with it on the inside. Real people can deal with real problems. And address their real issues. When they're confronted with it. All you dudes and ladies watching these videos. With J Jada and, and Will Smith's problems. Half of you dudes. Are going through the same shit. In your own relationships. Don't be hypocrites. Feel what I'm saying? Like let them niggas rock. That's how they live. Let God deal with them. How God gonna deal with them. But y'all being distracted. By all of that, when your government is plotting on you niggas for a whole new world order and you're not in the spirit of God to even pay attention because you're so caught up in the world. You're so caught up in the world. You're so caught up in what other people got to say, what other people are doing, and you're not caught up in your own life. You are given an opportunity right now to repent and get right with God. You are given an opportunity to get right with God. Some of you guys are not doing it. Some of you guys feel that it, it, we're going to go back to normalcy. There's no such thing as normal in this world. 
that those days are over. You've been living a blue pill lie. I'm just keeping it real. Y'all been living this fantasy. I'm, I'm gonna break it down. You women been living this hot girl summer for the past few summers. Y'all still even trying to live it now. And I tell some sisters that I know, I say, yo, save your fucking money. Stop trying to look good for niggas. You need to look good for when the Lord comes and gets your ass. Just keeping it real. Brothers, you doing all of this, try to get some pussy. And I'm just telling you, bro, put God first. You making women the, the end all be all of your life. You understand? You, you giving your all. You out here tricking hard. You not giving your you not giving God your all. See, when you give God your all, you will receive ten times more than what you put out. Yes, you gotta put in work. Yes, you're gonna be persecuted, but that's part of the work. See, a lot of y'all want the, the titles. A lot of y'all want the privileges. But y'all ain't really to deal with the, the repercussions. Y'all not really to put in that work. And that's what I noticed with a lot of my peoples. I just got to keep it real with y'all. I don't expect y'all to like this video. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to keep it a buck. Because I'm sitting here watching everything that's on my news feed. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching and I'm reading with discernment. Like, y'all are all in the same spirit. But you have dead man bones on the inside. Because half of you dudes who are making fun of their relationship. It's the same motherfuckers who will be in that same situation or already have been in the same situation. How many women... Deal with married men. How many women know that a man is married. Has a spouse already. But y'all still go fuck around. Give up the pussy. Let's be real. How many niggas. Who's laughing at this dude. Because he's in his feelings about Jada. Right. Half of you niggas will be a side dude. To another woman already got a nigga. I've been there. I've been there. I just don't do what he did. But I've been there because I know my place. If I'm a side nigga, I'm going to stay on the side. I'm going to wait till it's my turn. Y'all niggas is in your feelings knowing that this woman has already got a nigga, a whole nigga at home. And a lot of you niggas is in your feelings trying to be the main nigga knowing that you will never be the main nigga. It's being real. This ain't church. This is my platform. I curse in my videos. I know some of y'all be like, oh, why is Neil using derogatory words? He's using God. Listen, I'm keep it real. I'm a realist. I'm not religious. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Because this is what you niggas need to hear. Y'all in your feelings about the wrong things. Y'all in your feelings about things you have no business being in. Involved with. Instead of focusing on you, yours, and God. You, yours, and God. Let me say it one more time. You, yours, and God. That's what you need to be focused on. And praying for this nation. That's why I made a whole album called Prayers for a Lost Nation. You guys can check it out on YouTube at Neil Aubrey Teller. If you want the guys want the link, ladies want the link, hit me up with my DM. I'll send you the link to the album. Right? This nation is lost. This world is lost. It's getting colder day in and day out. This stuff is prophesied in the Bible. It said that men and women will be lovers of themselves. Chasing after vanity. The more vanity y'all are into, the more cold you become. Y'all don't even see it because your heart is so callous. Y'all sit there and watch a person die in front of you and just videotape it. Don't even try to help the guy out. But then y'all want justice. 
and then you want to know you want to tell the you want to tell the cops and the white and the white society right you want to tell everybody oh our lives matter when you see your brothers or your sisters getting shot in front of you and you do nothing about it when you see your brothers and sisters dying in the streets in front of you and all you could do is pull out your pull out your phone and record it for everybody to see I don't know what kind of generation this is, but this is not a cool, this is this is a wicked ass generation. You effeminate motherfuckers. And the women is masculine as fuck. There's no femininity in these women no more. And I don't care if you I offended you. I really don't care. Women are not feminine anymore. Femininity is now become extinct. Masculinity is now become extinct because niggas ain't Niggas ain't anymore. Niggas ain't masculine and women ain't feminine. Y'all switch roles. Y'all really entangled now. So leave your comments in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.